Hi Capricorn, welcome. So Capricorn, this is going to be your spiritual tarot reading and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. My readings are timeless, so I just trust that when this finds you, it's for you in that moment. Um, Capricorn, wow, third time's a charm, right? This is the third time of me trying to start this video. I kept having like blooper moments in, and you know what? I should like compile my blooper moments because y'all will probably get a kick out of it. <laughs> But um, I don't believe in coincidences, so third time's a charm may have some meaning to you. It's the last spiritual reading I believe I did for you, or maybe it was the one in February, was titled 333. So three is being significant to you. Um, and check out the spiritual meaning of 333 as well. I was also getting an Adele song, just the one line where she says, Say hello to your new lover. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar, very popular song. You may randomly hear that song. Um, if so, come back to the reading or it may resonate with you in some other kind of way. Um, but yes. And then the other part of the song that stuck out to me is we're not kids anymore. So <laughs> take it for what it's worth, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and get into it because I started the reading three times. I already have cards out. Sorry about that, guys. But these are um, cards that flipped out when I was preparing. One of them is the card of revolution, which is talking about breakthroughs, insights, brainstorming. It's also a little bit of like expect the unexpected type of vibe here. Sometimes this card reminds me of tower energy as well, um, where there could be some surprises. Um, but I'm also getting the word surprise and delight. So don't automatically assume that surprises are a bad thing, right? Sometimes it could be a positive thing. And then you also have the two of pentacles, which is the card of juggling. So it just might feel like things are a little bit unsteady or unstable, or you've got a lot on your plate. You're juggling a lot right now. Uh, maybe you're not sure of what to expect. Okay. Especially when it comes to a certain person or a situation here and I'm also getting like the future you know um, as a Capricorn as an earth sign and as someone who has Capricorn in my chart and more than one placement we tend to like uh, we tend to like planning we like to be planners we tend to like routine um, so expect the unexpected can seem a little bit daunting, right? For someone who has a lot of earth placements, because it's like, mm, I like to project and know what I'm headed towards, but life doesn't always work out like that. Sometimes, you know, the universe likes to throw us a little bit of a curveball, and it keeps us on our toes, right? Like how boring would life be if everything went exactly as you planned? Boring, right? <laughs> like, it's, life is fun because there's twists and turns, because there is unknowns, because we don't have it all figured out, right? So there's fun in that. There's freedom in that, Capricorn. And they're wanting you to kind of see whatever you have going on through that lens. So let's see what else we have here. Yeah, the Fool. So this is a lot of like new energy fresh burst of energy, um, kind of going outside of the logical, the practical, the routine, which again, can feel a little bit unsteady if you're not willing or wanting to go in that direction, but that is the direction you're being encouraged to go. And then you have the card of rebirth, which is talking about an end to old habits or behaviors or cycles and a beginning to a new you is what I'm getting. So there is some sort of rebirth here and it's showing up twice uh, as something to get excited about and spirit wanting you to be excited about whatever this is. So let's go into the headspace Capricorn and see what you have going on there. Then we're going to go into the heart space and see what's going on underneath all of this and the emotions. And then we're going to look at the big spiritual pictures. So Capricorn. Wow, how did I know the tower was going to come out? Didn't I just say that? <laughs> All right, so Capricorn, um, you have the King of Cups, the Empress, the Tower, and the Queen of Wands, which is really interesting to me. 
Now, some of you, there could be, you know, uh, quite a few people involved into whatever you have going on right now, all right? And that could be what's making things unstable because you don't just have yourself to consider, you have others to consider um, in the situation, right? Which makes things a little bit difficult. Wouldn't life be so simple if it was just um, only ourselves to consider? Now, I do want you to consider yourself number one priority, though, um, but oftentimes we do have other people that are spiritually or energetically tied to us or that physically live with us or, you know, work with us. And it's, we're not just in life as an individual. We're here as a group. We're here as a collective. We're here as a community. And so there is other people to take into consideration. And at the same time, that could be a huge win for you because other people can be very supportive or it could be a huge hindrance to you if if things aren't going well because sometimes people make things difficult for us it's just all depends on your perspective and how you want to see it um but it feels like that to me there's some unstable energy here right and there might be even a little bit of back and forth between how you're viewing other people in your life, right? Because people can only meet you to the expectation you have of them. If you have a very low expectation of someone and that's your primary belief about that person, they cannot buck your current, meaning they cannot show you something other than what you expect. No matter how good they are, no matter how many different ways they stand on their head, that they cannot buck that expectation, right? Um, because people feel energy and they and they feel how you feel towards them, just like you can feel it. So we don't think our expectations hold that much weight, but they really do hold all the weight when it comes to how people behave towards us or what we get out of them, right? So there's this big strong message here, Capricorn, about how you view others. Do you have an expectation that others let you down? Or do you have an expectation that's opposite of that, that others lift you up, right? And a lot of people get into negative thinking because they've been let down, but not everyone on the planet has let you down. So it's not fair to hold that expectation of everyone when it was really only a few individuals, right? And if you were to dig even deeper, you could see how your expectation played into that letdown. So it's about going a little bit deeper and looking at that aspect of your life because your social circle is showing up, other people are showing up, and it's all about the weight of your expectation. And if you have a limiting belief about others, then this is the time frame to step back to own that, that that's your expectation, and to try and either soothe or change that if you're able to, and see outside of the current moment, see the potential of what other people can provide to you, because most people are inherently good and want to do well, um, but a lot of us have been trained um, out of that, right? But that does not mean that you cannot train your own self by higher, by, by elevating your expectations of others and seeing them as their source sees them, which is through the eyes of love and capabilities, uh, capable. If you see others as uncapable, uh, don't be mad when you keep attracting people who are not capable of meeting your standards, right? So it's, again, how do you see people? Do you see them as capable and able or incomplete and unable? Because, again, you call forth to you what you primary, primarily believe about them and others in general. So I don't know, you know... Uh, why I'm getting that message about others, but there is a big message here about expectations. Um, so let's go a little bit deeper and see. Now, on just to read the basic meaning of the cards, by the way, there could be something emotional here that maybe you need to take your, some time with. Take some time with before you make any big changes here. Okay, um, there is an there is a chance, really, 
I was going to say there's a chance that things, that you might go off your rocker. I'm just saying, okay, that you might get angry or whatever. But, but the message that wanted to come through was not chance, opportunity, which I think is interesting. There's an opportunity here for you to get to know yourself a little bit better through whatever this is that may be triggering something in you emotionally, maybe even making you feel a bit unstable. I don't know if. Uh, there's some changes coming through here, Capricorn, uh, or some changes that you're needing to make, but Source wants you to see it as an opportunity, right? Not a hindrance, right? And what is it an opportunity for? For growth, expansion, but also to tap into this more um, assertive part of yourself, this more inspired part of yourself here. So let's go deeper and see. In the heart space, you have the five of swords, the eight of wands. And I can still hear that song. <laughs> Gotta let go of all of our goals because we ain't kids no more. All right, so five of swords, eight of wands, the fool, and the ten of wands. So when it comes to the heart space here, be very, very, very careful about communicating when you are angry, when you are in your lower self. Um, some of you, you know, if, if there's something that comes through that angers you and it makes you want to snap, Best you can, try to wait until you are calmer, until you have a moment of clarity, and then speak your mind. It's not about not, it's not about not speaking your mind. It's okay to speak your mind. It's just that you'll have a more productive outcome if you can do it when you're calm versus when you're angry. Because, you know, law of attraction will attach to your mood and likely when, okay, let me put it to you this way. Have you ever been like in a really frustrated, angry mood and then somebody makes you mad or pisses you off and so you say something really snide to them and you think that's going to be the end of it, but then your energy bleeds into theirs and so then they say something snide back and then before you know it, if you keep going back and forth, you're both pissed off at each other <laughs> because energy is contagious, you know what I mean? But it's not a productive argument. Arguments are not productive because both sides only want to be heard and neither are listening. <laughs> so it's like, it gets you all worked up and it stresses your body and your mind out and your emotions, but it doesn't actually resolve much um, until things simmer down. Now, when things simmer down and you have clarity, right? And the other person has clarity, then things can make more sense or you can hear each other, right? So uh, there's an opportunity here and the opportunity is around your ability to control your own emotions and reactions and um, to kind of get out ahead of this energy and to choose a response that motivates you Capricorn or that is more in alignment with who you really are than than someone getting your goat. You know what I mean? Which I think is funny because Capricorn, you're the goat of the Zodiac, right? Um, so don't let them get your goat. That's what this message is all about. There will be an opportunity here um, as well for a new beginning. You have it out one, two, three times. Um, but there's this like burdensome type of energy. <coughs> This heaviness here. <coughs> okay. Some of you need a lozenge, a cough a lozenge. I don't know. <laughs> and um, this could be work related. This does not have to be about an intimate relationship, right? Um, but take it as it resonates. It's just like, hmm. There's an opportunity here to grab that's coming out of some sort of change. And I feel this involves other people. Okay. Um, but it's all in the way that you go about it. And there is a chance that you might let this heaviness get to you. 
and dip into your lower self. And that's all right. Don't beat yourself up if you've already done this or you, you do it, whatever. And just get back on the horse the next day. Grab your clarity and move on. But <clears throat> there is this sense of exhaustion and needing to take better care of yourself and being careful about not taking on too much work as well during this time frame is you might be juggling more than you can handle right now and then that's leading to the tower energy so let's go a little bit further king of pentacles the hermit the hangman card so I like that the king of pentacles is showing up whether you're masculine or feminine this is your energy Capricorn thank you um, and and a whole lot of enlightenment coming through <laughs> I'm getting a lyrics to the song a whole lot of shaking going on um, so there's this message here about getting grounded again saying kind of coming back to your roots. So things feeling a little bit unsteady to start us off. Maybe some unexpected changes coming through or something that makes you feel unstable emotionally, which is ultimately testing you as to how in control you are of your emotional self because all all of your life is an emotional journey. It seems like it's the physical actions that you're taking part in, but all of it is internal. It is the emotions, it is the thoughts around it. And the more in control you can be of that, the more in control you will be of your entire life. And if you ever like want to test this out to, to see if I'm correct, look out at the population or just like people you know, and look at those who have very poor uh, emotional control those those that are very impulsive or easily angered or whatever and look at the quality of their life and then look at those who seem to be uh, more even keel and very in control of their emotions and then look at the quality of their life it's obvious it's not rocket science the quality of your life and the trajectory of your life is based on how well you control your internal universe right so it's like this is a test well they don't want me to the universe is never testing you it's responding to you but there's an experience here coming through that has the opportunity to teach you um, how to better control self and therefore have a better outcome it's just whether or not you're going to see it from that perspective capricorn but that's the perspective that that they want you to hold um, and there is spiritual enlightenment here. There's a new perspective coming through and a manifestation. Now, let's see what the manifestation is. I feel like a lot of you are going to choose the devil, which is your energy. <laughs> a, a lot of you, I was going to say, are going to choose to go the higher road, but some, but maybe not. <laughs> some of you not. You know which category you fall in. That's all right. Whatever. Because you had the Seven of Swords come out here. So some of you, it's like, you just may not be in the space where you're seeing like the best in someone or the best in others or the best in a situation. But it's that perspective that holds you back. Nothing, nothing above that. Nothing other than that. And that's really the message that is wanting to come through the strongest um, is to, the best that you can, assume positive intent which can be easy and can be hard to do in a world where we are taught not to trust ourselves or others but that's what you're being called to do if you want the situation to change the knight of swords so there's communication there's some sort of communication or dialogue going on here that has that ha that's eruptive or that has the ability to 
erupt something inside of you, <laughs> information coming in, communication, something you read, something you learn, a, a, a conversation you have. I don't know. It'll be, play out differently for all of you. but And maybe it even feels like the ultimate test, right? But it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to find out something new about yourself by responding in a new and different way than you typically would have in the past. And nothing is more exciting than discovering a new part of ourselves because we are all on the path of self-discovery. And it's almost like, yes, I got this. Or like, you know, like, have you ever held your tongue in a situation where you wouldn't normally hold your tongue? And then like, been like really proud of yourself I mean I have you know or been in a situation where I wouldn't typically react like that and I catch myself and I choose I consciously choose a different response winning not to quote Charlie Sheen or anything but winning you know what I mean <laughs> that's true winning and I feel like that's what this is all about I'm gonna title this reading winning <laughs> So what are you manifesting? That was the question. The question was, what are you manifesting? A new version of you, a better version. So let's see what the guidance is here at Capricorn. And we're going to leave it there. Guidance for my Capricorn. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay, here we go. It says, take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into a decision. This is an important decision. Take a moment to pause. Quiet your mind and ask your soul for guidance before moving forward. Just basically what I said. And then the card of reach out. We know you're reaching out for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it is presented to you. So, wow, beautiful reading, Capricorn. I'm going to leave it there for now. Zodiac signs that you might be uh, connecting with. I have Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, Sagittarius. Those are the primary signs I'm seeing, but keep in mind, it's a general reading, so take what resonates. Sorry, Cancer Energy over here, too. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff, as I do have videos and content over there. Tarot Time with Dana is the name of all my social media accounts. All of it linked in the chat, as well as the description box, as well as the about section. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very best, Capricorn. And until next time, my friends. Namaste.